Hi, welcome to the video. So I've got my solar panels here. Here we go. And um, we're going to set the hot tub up. And um, I'm not expecting it to uh, do the job. Will it do it? Watch the video and find out. It's very interesting. Um, and of course, we've got a conclusion at the end as to uh, what happens. So I've just done a, another couple of shots so you can see where the panels are because I have hidden them due to planning permission um, and I didn't really want to see them so I have put them at only about four degrees which of course is breaking all the rules um, but I'm telling you now they are working great as long as they're getting the sun which they are from pretty much 95% of the day then why not? Of course, we're going to be having an installer here saying you shouldn't do it. But again, I've done it for cosmetic reasons. I don't want to see him at a silly angle on the pub. Right, so this is going to be crazy. So what we're going to do is uh, here is my uh, hot tub. Okay, and we're going to see how long it'll last uh, on my solar panels. So we've got the give energy system. So I'll just show you where it is. So we've done ours outside. Get a roomy tent. Um, inside our little brick shelter. I call it the plant room. Why is it here? Well, imagine if we had a problem with our lithium battery. Uh, it's not going to burn the house down, is it? Um, so, and also the panels are on the roof right next to it okay so if you've seen any previous videos um let's just zoom out of that yeah there is uh my pub stroke office and you can just see can you see the solar panel there it is so we're on a bit of an incline but not a lot another video to talk about that it doesn't have any effect not that i'm aware i've not been on the correct 45 degree angle this is the garden <laughs> Of course, we send all our energy over there. Okay, so it's 78 meters away. Uh, and of course, if you want to see the video on how to make your own garden room or pub or office, of course, um, then it's available on the channel. I might put a link in, I'm not so sure. So anyway, in the meantime, um, let's see how long this lasts running off the solar panel. Will it do it? Will it not do it? It was a sunny day. This one's just gone in. So that's not a brilliant start. Catch you soon. So this is my app. This is my Give Energy digital display. At the top, the panels are producing 3.16 kilowatts. And you can see what the house is using. Or should I say the hot tub, 2 point something kilowatts. And of course... We're actually charging the battery at the same time. Um, hope the sun continues because we're smashing it at this rate. Um, great stuff. So, 36. So I've set it to 40. So I imagine it's going to be four hours. Well, it's very cloudy here, but I've just checked the app, the app and we're getting 3.7. Um, Kilowatts, so a couple of miles from home while it's doing its thing. Okay, so I've managed to do a um, much better um, picture. You can see what's going on, and it's absolutely smashing it. Um, it's not like this in Manchester normally, the sun coming out and um, we're reducing far more than what we use, and that's with the hot tub and the house running, um, just ticking over, whatever. It's smashing it, absolutely shocked. And then, uh, of course, the sun's in and out. And at this moment in time, it's at the maximum. It's 3.8 kilowatts. Those pesky clouds. Now, if you can see the display, obviously, it's gone a little bit cloudy. We're only producing 1.3 kilowatts. This is what the battery is. It's a buffer. Um, so it'll be taking it from the battery and then shoving it in, shoving it out, shoving it in, shoving it out. It's absolutely smashing it. 76%. Wow. Those pesky clouds not producing much at all now. This is why the battery is absolutely crucial. One minute you're producing, the next minute you're using the battery. Um, only have the system a week. It is awesome. Also, another view from the loft. 
So the system, it's using the solar that's incoming, also now the battery. So if you like, it's like a 55-45 scenario um, as the weather's doing whatever it is and, and it's just the buffer. Um, so in a minute you'll see the battery's probably dropped down even more because it's gone cloudy again. So it's, I mean, it's just, just annoying. But with the system, with the battery, it, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not making a big impact. It's not making, it's not causing me a problem at all. So, you know, again, you, you come here, we've now dropped to 71%. So we're still heating from the battery. It's awesome. Um, now look at this. This is the meter. You can see it's just, just not moving hardly. It does a little bit of a rock like that as it's pushing the energy forward and backwards and the dials are not moving, nothing's moving. Of course, the new smart meter's on its way in the next couple of weeks, so by the time you see this, it'll be already be in. So that's more like it. So, you know, it's, it's working on full capacity. Then there's a cloud, it's just doing its thing. So I need a battery. It's taking up all the slack. So uh, let me check the app again, see what it's doing. Look at them solar panels, can I even see them? So it's 3.15 in sunny Manchester where it always rains. And we've hit our target temperature of 39. So I imagine we need to fill that battery up now, get us through the night. I don't I mean, I don't know. Can't you see the 39? Mm, just, just, we we'll do that. Right, leave the cover on. We're going in after tea. So I've just opened the app and it appears we are not using much energy. So um, I'm going to go over and um, check the hot tub, I think, and see what's going on. So we're at our 40 degrees. Didn't tell it 39. To 40. Battery's at 72%, sun is still shining. It's uh, 6.20 on a Friday in miserable sunny Manchester. Behind the tree, panel's still producing. So it's 9.20, uh, the battery's taking a hammering. There's no way we're gonna get through the night uh, with the hot sub on, okay. So we'll just see what it what it takes from the grid tomorrow. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be too much. I, I, I'm not, I, I really don't know, it, it'll be a surprise. Um, but we're still on battery, we're on 20%. Now normally I go in 20% and I go to bed. Um, I don't have a hot tub running a two kilowatt hot tub, so um, it'll it'll be interesting. Um, I've been trying to flatten this system, and I simply can't do it. So obviously this this is gonna it's gonna take it out. It it really is. So um, we'll be starting from scratch. I think in the morning eight well half six when the sun rises. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I think it's going to be flat all day tomorrow because uh, it's my mum's birthday. So, you know, we've got the hot tub for mum. I'm going to draw in from the grid and obviously topping up with solar. Um, that is what the reality is. Sunday, we've got friends coming. So, again, we're going to have the hot tub on. It'll be, it'll be topping up from the grid. You know, as soon as they leave, oh, I'll be turning off this uh you know excuse the beer the the motor about 37 degrees um 
I'm going to set it to 33 or 34 when I leave. It'll obviously drop and then kick back in whenever that's going to be. Um, it's 9 o'clock now, so I'm guessing 11.30 it'll start kicking in. Battery, guessing 1 o'clock, dead, completely dead. So, um, yeah, I won't see the battery dead. No, it sounds ridiculous. I'm just not seeing it dead at all. So, uh, it'll, be, it'll all be interesting. Good night. Good night. The battery is low. I'm going to make it. So, it's 12.30 at night. I'm going to bed. And uh, we're, we're, we're flat. Completely flat. So... Um, it'll be interesting to see how much we use. Good morning, and um, let's check out how we get on today. We're flat at the moment, as you can see. So it's the morning, and it's uh, 10 o'clock, and uh, we've had our session last night in the hot tub and what it did to the system was um, drained our battery okay so we woke up this morning and we are 100% flat okay um, it does have a reserve of 4% uh, for whatever reason look after the battery um, in the meantime what it's now doing is they're now running 100% on solar so if we look at our statistics and also look at the nice sunny day that we've got at the moment we're generating one kill between one kilowatt and two and a half or three kilowatts okay thanks to our friend up there okay um so we're on a we're on solar and the grid is topping us up so it's about 50 50 and i think this is a, a success to be to be fair now if i'm looking at this that's saying 38 so i've asked it to go to 40 so it's going to be knocking off in two hours and knocking on and off and on and off and on and off so it is it's a success i'd say so it's a fantastic success and um, today we would be dumping i'd imagine at dinner time any excess solar to the grid and of course you don't give you anything give you buttons so um that's where we are so mum's arriving in a, around one o'clock ish and we'll uh, have our hot tub uh barbecue outdoor party and then uh i'll either we'll either go in the hot tub tonight use some more more power off the grid and then as soon as i go to bed i'll just turn it off and then the next day we're starting from scratch with a totally flat battery um and hopefully we'll get some sunshine so i'll have a look as well see how many kilowatts i've been using or will use uh, i won't be able to tell till tomorrow or the next day when i do the the measurements have a look at the meat to see what we've used but 50 percent i think it's really good and of course we'll be putting the oven on cooking food and things like that in a bit and I've got a feeling the washing machine will be going on so um i'm writing this day off as not for charging anything on the battery but we'll see it'll be interesting so uh hopefully that's been useful to you guys hooligan So we've got our old iPad here and we are at 24%. The hot tub is at temperature, it is 12.37. It's absolutely smashing it. I mean, I did not expect the battery to be charging, which of course, when we switch it on, it's gonna reuse. So it's super eco, well happy. So we continue, we have our hot tub party and all the time it's, it's you know, we're at 32% now. By four o'clock, we battery is fully charged. We get to one hundred percent while running the hot tub. It absolutely awesome. 
Um, the calculations also, we used 28 kilowatts uh, throughout the two and a half days heating the hot tub. And I would say that eight of them were pulled from the grid. So that's two thirds. So it's absolutely awesome. Uh, there's a quick, I uh, got my drone out to show you the, uh, the panels. So uh, yeah, so there we go. It was an interesting experiment. So two thirds were definitely, this is the conclusion, run from the solar panels. And it was due to the sun going in at night that uh, I think did the, the eight kilowatts. Um, probably the wife putting the washing machine on as well, which didn't help. So what did you think of the video then? Give us a like, a thumbs up or a thumbs down or comment in the uh, comment area. And of course, if you're from the hot tub community or the um, solar panel community, I thought it'd be uh, an interesting one for us uh, to do this video because um, I just didn't think uh, we would get to where we are, to be fair. So, okay, cheers.